Hi kindergarten scholars, I'm here to do a read aloud with you today. Before we get started, I want you to think about a time that you worked with someone else to do something. Think of that time, a time that you worked with someone else to do something. When you think of a time, you can whisper that time to your hand, you can say it in your brain, or you could say it out loud to someone if there's someone close to you. Go ahead and do that. Remember, you can always pause the video if you need more time. Today we're going to read a book called Swimmy, and in it, the characters do something together, so I want you to be looking out for that. Before we get started, we're always going to notice and wonder on the cover. So go ahead, look at the cover. Remember, notice means we just look and we say the things that we see. For example, I notice that there are some rocks down here. I also notice that there are some red fish Go ahead, you can notice a couple things. Great, we also wonder. We talk about the things we still want to know that we don't yet know about the book. Like we might say something like, I wonder if the characters are underwater. I wonder if this fish is running away from something. I wonder why there's one black fish and all the rest are red. Go ahead, you can wonder something yourself. Before we get started, there's a word that you need to know, and that word is school. Now, I'm not talking about the kind of school where we go to school together and go to kindergarten and first grade and second grade. I'm talking about a group of fish. So a group of fish is called a school of fish. So when you hear that word in this book, it means a group of fish, not the school that we go to. All right, the good reader skill we're gonna practice is figuring out the problem and the solution the problem in the story and how the characters solve the problem. All right, let's get started. Swimmy by Leo Leone. A happy school of little fish lived in a corner of the sea somewhere. They were all red. Only one of them was black as a mussel shell. He swam faster than his brothers and sisters. His name was Swimmy. One bad day, a tuna fish, swift, fierce, and very hungry, came darting through the waves. In one gulp, he swallowed all the little red fish. Only Swimmy escaped. He swam away in the deep, wet world. He was scared, lonely, and very sad. I wonder where he is on the mood meter, if he's scared, lonely, and very sad. Hmm. But the sea was full of wonderful creatures, and as he swam from marvel to marvel, Swimmy was happy again. He saw a Medusa made of rainbow jelly. A lobster who walked about like a water-moving machine. Strange fish pulled by an invisible thread. A forest of seaweeds growing from sugar candy rocks. An eel whose tail was almost too far away to remember. And sea anemones who looked like pink palm trees swaying in the wind. Then, hidden in the dark shade of rocks and weeds, he saw a school of little fish just like his own. Let's go and swim and play and see things, he said happily. We can't, said the little red fish. The big fish will eat us all. But you can't just lie there, said Swimmy. We must think of something. Hmm, I think I might be hearing a problem. I noticed that all these fish are hiding and they can't go out to see and play and do things together because they're too scared they're gonna get eaten. Swimmy thought and thought and thought. Then suddenly he said, I have it. We are going to swim all together like the biggest fish in the sea. I wonder what that means. He taught them to swim close together, each in his own place. The illustrator is helping me see 
what the author means by swimming together. I'm noticing that all the fish are swimming together so that they look like a bigger fish. And when they had learned to swim like one giant fish, he said, I'll be the eye. And so they swam in the cool morning water and in the midday sun and chased the big fish away. The end. Remember I said our good reader skill was thinking about the problem and the solution. I remember we saw the problem on this page when all of the fish were hiding and they were too scared to go do anything because they didn't want to get eaten. My question for you is, what was the solution? How did they solve the problem? Think about that for a second. How did they solve that problem? How were they not scared anymore to go out? When you think of your answer, you can whisper it, say it in your brain, or say it out loud to someone close to you. Remember, you can always pause the video if you need more time. We are gonna talk about this same skill tomorrow on our charter. It's called collaboration. It means when people work together, just like you thought of a way that you worked together earlier before the book. And the way that these fish work together to solve the problem, they all learned how to swim together so that they looked like a big fish and they chased the, big fi the other big fish away. Tomorrow we're gonna to talk about how we could all work together in our classrooms. And so today we want you to think of an idea, a way that we could work together or collaborate in our classrooms. And you can leave that idea in an audio comment on this activity. We're excited to hear your ideas.